for the one to the elect of the nation of Israel. First and foremost, I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Racha Kodash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this 100% truth. Salutations unto the 144,000 doing the work of the Lord in all truth, honor, and sincerity. And shalom to the one third men, women, and children who believe in this word being taught unto them. And back at you with another lesson entitled, But Without Faith, It Is Impossible to Please Him. All right, because yes, Volcab Malone, we are um, a faith based Israelite group. All right, this thing of ours is all about faith. All right, the Most High says that it is impossible to please Him without faith. So, how, how, how the hell could we, you know, uh, proclaim the words of the Lord, all right, the words written within the Bible boldly if we didn't, if we didn't have faith, if we didn't believe in the things that are written therein? All right, this thing of ours is all about faith, man. All right, and, um, you know, that's, that's what the majority of the nation of Israel is lacking right now. Is that faith, you know? Because we we don't walk after uh, the things that we see, but rather the things that we can't see. All right, because that's 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 what true faith is, you know. Like we can't physically um, see the kingdom of heaven right now, you know. We can't see the spiritual power right now. Well, we can on on a low level, you know. The fact that we've woken up to this truth, the fact that you know we have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That is spiritual power on a low level, which really is a high level, all right? But in comparison to, you know, the the, the, the depths of spiritual power that the uh, Israelites are going to obtain, beginning with the elect, is low level, all right? But you see, that's all through faith, you know? We believe that these things are coming, but we can't see it, all right? But, but you see the, the you know... Um, the scriptures say how the carnal mind is enmity with the with the Most High, all right. And and majority of our people, they seek after you know the physical, tangible things that you can see, that you can touch, that you can smell, you know. So when we come out preaching that the kingdom of heaven is at hand, that Esau Edom is going into captivity, and things of that nature, you know, they they look at us like we got ten heads, you know, because they physically can't see that because they see. You know, Esau Edom is walking in great pride. You know, he's sitting in the power seat right now. He's very lofty, you know, very high minded. All right. So Jake can't see, you know, us rising out of this. You know, Jake is OK with just getting their little bag here on the side whilst dwelling in Esau Edom's wicked kingdom. And, 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 and you know, Jake will be more than happy, man. You know, as long as he can get him a few bad bitches and, you know, he got him a little bag. Right, Jake, Jake will happily remain under, you know, the captivity of Esau, Edom, man. All right, but you see, when you come into this truth, you you obtain something uh, called a, a ruling class mentality. All right, you no longer f think like a slave. You know, you're lo you're no longer, uh, 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 you know, your mind is no longer in the realms of the uh, low consciousness thoughts. You know, just 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 pride and and, and anger. Uh, uh, covetousness You know And things of that nature man you, you now move to the higher levels Of consciousness You know You start You know uh, You know, you have the wisdom Knowledge and understanding Of the bible uh, Dwelling within you You know e Every thought that Every passing thought That you have You know You always kind of relay it Back to the scriptures Or you know Because hey look I'm not going to sit here And say brothers Because I certainly don't I don't sit here From morning till evening Watching videos man You know I do spend most of my day Watching videos And then I'll have like A little intermission Shall we say Where I may tune into Something else Or do something Or whatever Or listen, listen to some music But then eventually You know You, you come back around You know You might um, You know we, we got the notifications on You know A certain notification Might grab you And, and, and you tune in You know You got the live lessons Going up You got the camp uh, Videos going up and, and you know You might tune in Alright but that's because we're, we're, we're you know, um, let, let, let's get that, man. Let's start here. 
you know, let me hope, Lord willing, I remember Sirach too. Um, let's start here in the book of James, chapter 4. And uh, let's start at 7. And it reads Submit yourselves, therefore, to the Most High. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. All right? And, and that's, that's something that, you know, two thirds. Of our people they struggle with man they struggle with resisting the devil all right and, and, and just putting all their focus on yahweh bashim yahushai you know many a times i've spoken to jake in the world right you know uh you speak to them about the truth and you know they genuinely are intrigued they genuinely are interested in what you have to say you know they're asking questions they're eager but you know that demon is still on them man or them demons you know, are still on them, and um, you know, yeah, they may they may be completely like beguiled and enchanted by the words that you speak unto them, but in the moment, you know, but you you've upset that demon or those demons that are on them. So then, the moment they walk away, now it's the demon's job to try and uh, uh, erase the, the the memory of the truth, you know, erase the the, the magnificent. Of, of the wisdom that they've just obtained and to get them to you know go back into the world and pretty much not follow after righteousness which i've seen that happen many a times man all right and and you can read about that um in matthew 13 and i believe also in um mark chapter 4 all right so um we have to as the hopeful elect we have to submit ourselves unto the most high all right we have to flee from wickedness you see so it says here in verse 8 draw nigh to the most high and he will draw nigh to you all right you know uh a similar scripture that comes to mind is um isaiah 55 and 7 and it reads seek ye the lord while he may be found and call upon him while he is near all right another scripture uh What's that? Sirach 5 and 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, for suddenly shall his wrath come. You know? And, and, uh, uh, you know what? I'm not really doing it any justice. Let me just bring it out. This is Sirach 5 and 7. And it reads Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. Don't, don't, don't delay, man. You know, you're, you're pulling it off from day to day. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll get right with the Lord tomorrow. You know, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk by the camp tomorrow. Listen, man, you, you might not see the next 30 minutes, man. You know? No, no, no man knows when it's his time. All right? So it, behoove, <laughs> it would behoove you to seek Yahweh by Hashem Yahshai whilst he may be found, man. You know, any, any day, they could just shut off the internet. All right? And, and you know like a scene and leave the world behind all of a sudden you know the the, the networks ain't working anymore you know the the, the 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 mobile data ain't working the uh the wi-fi at home ain't working now you can't you know you always knew that that if you wanted to hear the truth you tune into the you know the men of gms but you never did anything you uh you procrastinated you made excuses every day. Ah, yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. Right? And then, and then, guess what? One day, tomorrow never came. All right. So basically, you was tarrying, man. You was delaying. When the scripture says here, um, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. All right. For suddenly, you know, all of a sudden, you know, uh, what's that? First Thessalonians five and three. Um, For when they shall say peace and safety. Then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child. All right, so the destruction of the Lord is going to come upon you suddenly, and 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 you know you're pretty much you're going to be um, you're going to be destroyed without remedy, man. All right, all because you uh, you was pretty much dragging your feet. You know the Most High is not dealing with with those that are just half stepping, man. You know they're just here for entertainment, or you know they just tune into brothers because they like how a certain brother teaches or a certain garment that he wears or wherever the case may be man but you basically you're just in it for the wrong reasons man all right we're, we're doing this you know because you know those who are sincere 
are doing this because they want to be saved, man. You know, Habakkuk 3 and 2. I have heard that speech and was afraid. All right, we, um, hey man, what did Ezra say in 2nd Ezra 16? He said, woe is me, woe is me, which woe means destruction. Uh, who would deliver me in those days? All right, because Ezra was seeing, um, he was seeing how, you know, the, the great tribulation, the great trouble that was at hand. All right, and Ezra has to be here today. All right, the fact that he said, who will deliver me in those days? proves that, that that you know through reincarnation Ezra is among us man we don't know who Ezra is you know it's just like how uh, I was watching a video by Elder Apostle Taha and uh who's that deacon from Sakari I forget his name man the dude of the cap you know it's basically going into how people say that um Elder Apostle Taha is Apostle Paul all right which you know that could be the case or maybe not all right, but the point is, it, it doesn't matter, man. You know, it doesn't matter. All right, all, you know, all those answers will be revealed once we once we make it into the chariot, man. Which Lord willing was the elect. All right, but it doesn't it doesn't really matter, man. What really matters is that ultimately you're you're soaking in this word. You're doing what's required of you, and you're you're putting your best foot forward in the ministry. All right. Um. And you know, like like men of the Lord, you know, like let's take John the Baptist for example, man. John the Baptist was Elijah. You know, he even shared similar traits to Elijah. And, and when when the people would say unto John the Baptist that this is that you're Elijah, he he, he you know he pretty much looked to them like, well, what are you talking about? You know, I, I ain't Elijah. I'm John the Baptist. You know. But anyways, it don't really matter right now, man. What really matters is is the is the saving of our souls, man. Okay. It says, um, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security uh thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Alright, so you don't wanna be dragging your feet in this ministry, man. You know, you 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 wanna repent in your own time. You wanna repent under your own conditions you want you want to come up some other way all right that ain't, ain't gonna happen man okay let's go uh to sirach 2 and 10 and it reads look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the lord and was confounded or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Right, so now that we're heading into the worst time in human history, we need to uh, bear this in mind, you know, that the Most High is, uh, uh, you know, a power that's very merciful, man, okay? And he hath care for his elect, and he's coming, he's sending his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, which Yahweh Shai literally means he is the deliverer, he deliverer, all right. Uh, he's sending his only begotten son Yahweh Shai to come and redeem his elect, okay. And we have to um, have faith in 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 in, in that in, you know in those words. We have to trust in those words, okay. Because you know when you read Revelation eleven and thirteen, in, in which you know rather than me quote it verbatim. Let me just go ahead and grab it, man. Let's just grab it. All right. So this is Revelation 13. Is it, no, is it 11? I think it's 11 and 13. Yeah. It says here, Revelation 11 and 13, And the same hour, there was a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell, and the tenth part of the city is talking about America. All right, and in and, and what's gonna um, you know cause the earthquake? You know um, that's the nuclear missiles hitting Ground Zero, which you know John the Revelator he heard the number of them, and the number of them was two hundred thousand thousand, which would equate to uh, two hundred million. All right, so a total of two hundred million nuclear missiles are gonna be used to bring forth the destruction of um uh, babylon the great all right 
and and certain other places around the world are going to be destroyed like like israel for example you know because um israel is filthy right now we can't inherit the homeland in the filthy state that it's in it needs a a, a major cleansing agent and the, the the lord's choice of major cleansing agent this time round is um fire okay so it says Let's start from the top again, Revelation 11 and 13. And the same hour was there a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell. And in the earthquake were slain of men 7,000, which seven, you know, seven represents the number of completion. Because there's going to be way more than 7,000 that's going to be slain, man. You know, um, um, what's that? Isaiah 66 talks on how the slain of the Lord shall be many. All right. And the remnant were frightened. Now, who are the remnant? The remnant are the elect. All right. So, so even though the elect are going to be saved, you know, the elect are still going to be in the time of Jacob's trouble. You know, these Christians believe that there's going to, you know, they're going to be raptured. There's going to be this seven year tribulation period. And, and the Christians are just going to be dwelling somewhere safely, man. No, man. Even, even you deluded, you know, you delusional Christians, man. All right, your ass, your ass is about to be in Jacob's trouble, man. And let, let, let's see what precepts come to mind when, when, when uh, you know, when you're neck deep in calamities, man. Because I, I tell you for a fact, it ain't, ain't going to be John 3 and 16. You know, it certainly won't be John 3 and 16, man. All right. So it says here in Revelation 11 and 13, it says, And the remnant were affrighted and gave glory to the power of heaven. All right, because you know, hey man, look, the scriptures say how men's hearts are going to be failing them for fear, all right, for the fearful sights that are coming on the earth. You know, you got uh, you got people seeing these chariot sightings and they're bugging out, man, because they they're uh, witnessing th something that they cannot explain. That's moving in ways that's that's not uh, normal. In the realm of, 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 of this third dimensional uh, um, existence Okay and, and you already have people fearing that And they ain't even seen it in its full glory yet You know, when Yahweh Shai comes leading those angels Then they're going to see, you know uh, uh, the, the fullness of the strangeness of his salvation Alright But you see Because it um, Look man let, Let's back this up with First Peter chapter four and verse eighteen, straight to the point. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, you see, for a long time, it's gonna seem like the righteous are not gonna be saved. You know, it's gonna be like, oh shit. You know, is the Lord coming for me? You know, am, am I really gonna be saved? Because because things are happening, man. But you're still down here on earth. All right. That's why it says how. The remnant were affrighted But gave glory to the power of heaven Okay Because why? We we understand the script Things are going according to how it's written But that still doesn't change the fact that It's going to be a mighty scary time man You know uh, when the you know the ancient prophets Which most of them are back today When they would um, When they would have these visions Of, of the you know the end of days you know, the end of Esau, Edom's rulership They, hey man You had prophets that would be sick You know, they, they, they'd be troubled for days, man They'd be troubled for days Because because of the magnitude of the destruction That the Lord is getting ready to bring down on this place, man You know, Daniel 12 and 1 speaks on how It's going to be a time like never before Alright, Matthew 24 and 21 says how It's going to be a, a, a time of great tribulation such as there's never been since the since the uh, you know pretty much since the, uh, the beginning, man. Roughly paraphrasing Salakia, you know, we're we're heading into the worst time ever recorded in human history, and it's the worst time that there ever will be. Okay. So these times that we're heading into ain't no joke, man. But with that being said, do we believe, do we have faith that the Most High is going to deliver us 
from this uh, time of great tribulation. You know, uh, um, do, you know, uh, do do we really believe, man? Okay, because it's going to be that that faith is is what's going to carry you. All right, that faith is what's going to keep you going. All right, so let's read First uh, Peter four and eighteen once again. It says, "And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear?" All right, because they aim, man, they're going to be dwelling in torment. Right, because they loathed his law. All right, meaning they they greatly despised the words of the Bible. So they're going to be dwelling in torments, and you can read all about that in Second um, Ezra nine, around about the ninth verse on down. Okay, so where was I? Was it, uh, Revelation eleven and thirteen. Um, I read Surat five and seven. Um, I wanted to read Surat two. And 11 as well I believe I read 10 only So let's go back there So rock 2 And let's just start from 10 man Look at the generations of old And see Did ever any trust in the Lord And was confounded Or did any abide in his fear And was forsaken Or whom did he ever despise That called upon him Okay For the Lord is full of compassion And mercy all right, and he's going to have mercy on his elect. Okay, he's going to beautify the meat with salvation, man. Okay, it says, um, it's like you're just seeing what's going on here. It says, um, for the Lord is full of compassion. And mercy, long suffering, and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins, and saveth in time of affliction. All right, the Most High saveth in time of affliction, man. And we're heading into a time of heavy affliction, man. All right, but do we believe that Yahweh Bashim Shai? Is going to deliver us from, 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 from all our troubles Alright Or are we just faking the funk man Because look, look man If you're faking the funk man That ain't going to last too long You know those, those, those people who are just faking it You know Acting like they was really about the truth And they're really not they, hey, they, They're going to be rooted out man You know They're going to be rooted out Ain't, ain't no unbeliever about to step into a chariot, man. Ain't no unbeliever about to step into a chariot, okay? Let's hold Revelation 2. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 2, and verse 10. And it reads Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer For behold The devil shall cast some of you into prison That ye may be tried And ye shall have tribulation ten days Which the ten days which represent A certain amount of time You know That ye shall have tribulation ten days Be thou faithful unto death And I will give thee a crown of life Alright so You know Even if we have to lose our lives for this truth Alright the scriptures commanded us This is Yahweh Shai speaking This is a red letter He said to be faithful unto death man And it will give us a crown of life Okay Because really and truly This existence that we have In Esau Edom society man we ain't even living man We're just breathing Alright This ain't what you call life man This is what you call death Okay So you know this, Again it says at the top Fear none of those things Which thou shalt suffer man Alright We're not meant to fear We, we, we know the author Alright We know the true name Of the heavenly father And his only begotten son We understand the will of the lord 
So it's not for us to, to you know, we shouldn't be walking in, into the time of great tribulation, into the time of Jacob's trouble with doubt in our minds, man. You know, we, we, we need to be walking in faith, knowing that, hey, man, we, we, we need to be walking with the mindset of, listen, man, I've done the best that I can for this ministry. You know, I put my best foot forward. You know, Lord willing, I'm of the elect, man. You know, we need to be walking with that kind of mindset, okay? And that's why it's important, man. It's pivotal that we, you know, we put our best foot forwards now so that when we're in the time of Jacob's trouble, hey, look, man, really and truly, no matter how much work we do, all right, we're still going to feel like, oh, man, I wish I, I would have done more, all right? You're going to feel like that because you're going to, you know, the times are, times are going to be so heavy, you know, you're just going to feel like you ain't done enough. All right, even if you've done more than enough, but well, that's the point, though. So that's that's why it's pivotal that we put our best foot forwards now. You know, we uh, 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 you know are, are diligent in the truth, steadfast, unmovable. You know that's you know written in First uh, Corinthians fifteen and fifty eight. Okay, so that you know when that time of trouble comes, we know that uh, we 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 done our best. And we just pray that we're of the elect, man. We pray that we're found worthy to make it as part of the elect. Okay. Um, from there, let's get Revelation 3 and 10. You know, these two scriptures, they go hand in hand. So this is Revelation chapter 3 and verse 10. And it reads, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, to try them that dwell upon the earth all right so so what's the word of his patience the these scriptures man you know we kept the these sayings at hand you know we weren't offended because you know there's a lot of our people out there they're offended in the lord you know truth be told all right but they want to they want to fake the funk you know they want to act like that like they're really with you how shy they're really about this truth hey man time will tell man time will tell all right, but this time of temptation, this MOTB, all right, it, it is is coming to try the whole earth. So you Christians, you ain't gonna be in some some other realm, all right, during this quote unquote seven year tribulation period. No man, your ass is gonna be here as well, deciding whether you should take the MOTB or not. You know, you're, you're trying to work out if the MOTB is Revelation 13 and 16. But you're going to be wrestling in the scriptures because this devil is going to throw it in your face that you can't go to work, you can't buy or sell. So you know, you're going to try and justify in your mind. You might get into the mindset of, yeah, I'm, I'm going to take the MOTB to feed my family. But then when, but then at the last minute, I'm just going to, going to get the tweezers and I'm going to pull it out, man. You look, man, you, you can't pull a fast one on the most high, man. The moment that MOTB touch your skin, all right, the moment it get under your flesh, that's that's your ass, man. Your that's your ass, man. Your ass is motherfucking grass. Okay. Revelation 1 and 3. Blessed is he that readeth. And that's with understanding Because any, any, any Tom, Dick and Harry Can read the Bible But can you read the Bible with understanding Alright So Revelation 1 and 3 Says uh, Blessed is he that readeth Okay And they that hear the words of this prophecy Right and They that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein For the time is at hand Khan That time of great trouble That time of tribulation The, 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 the testing Hey, that, that time is at hand Okay What are you going to do? Are you going to trust in Yahweh Bashim Yashai? Or are you going to trust in man? Okay That's the real question, man Alright Let's hold Um Second Ezra 15 at the top. You know, it says here, Second Ezra 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy 
which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. So when you're hearing the men of the Lord teaching, all right, it, 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 it's not, you know, really you're hearing the voice of the Most High, you know, if you can receive it. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. So these words are faithful and true. So what does that mean? That means the destruction is coming. That means World War Three is coming. That means the MOTB is coming. All right. That means uh, Jacob's trouble is coming. Famine of the word is coming. But guess what? Amongst all of those things, deliverance is coming too. All right. Salvation of the elect is coming. All right. These things are at hand. Okay. But do you have the faith to believe it? All right. One more preset. This is Hebrews 11 and uh, bear with me a minute. I'm trying to find the one on Noah. Might be in verse 7 actually. Yeah. Alright, so this is Hebrews 11 and 6. And you really you should read Hebrews 11 um, all through to, you know, build up your faith, man. You know, let's even start from the top real, uh, real quick. Hebrews 11 and verse 1. And it reads Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. You know, it's like we're hoping for uh, uh, immortality. Uh, we're hoping for the kingdom of heaven. You know, we're hoping for um, Yahweh Shai to deliver us. All right, things of that nature. All right, so so that all requires faith because we can't see that right now, but that's still something that we hope for. All right, that's that's the the pure meaning of faith. All right, so it says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. All right, now let's go back down to verse six. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. All right, so don't think that you're going to receive that salvation when 90% of your week consists of you doubting, man. And on Saturday you come rush on the warm, shut up warm, y'all by shimya shab rock thumb, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then and then you're away from brothers and all, all, and all you do is just doubt. Alright? It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. Even when we pray for things, man, you know, we're meant to walk away from that prayer like the Lord has answered it. Like the Lord has answered our prayers already, man. Okay? We're not meant to, oh man, I don't know, man. Yeah, I pray for it, but uh, is the Lord going to come through? Uh, I don't know, man. Hey, man, your prayer will get rejected, man. Okay. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Right? For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that's literally his name, you know, uh, Yahweh means he is, he exists it says for he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him all right so the most high is going to reward those that 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 diligently seek after him man seeking after righteousness you know setting their affections on the things above you know, those are the ones who the Most High is going to reward. All right. Those that are doing this work, you know, consistently making their bodies a living sacrifice. OK, it says in verse seven, I'm going to close out on this one. It says, but uh, by faith, Noah being warned of the Most High of things not seen as yet, because uh before the flood 
you know, it, it had never rained on earth. You know, the Most High would pretty much um, water the earth by way of a dew. All right? Water the plants and things of that nature by way of a dew. All right? So it says, by faith, Noah, being warned of the Most High of things not seen as yet, Moved with fear, all right. You know, uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of all understanding, but fools despise instruction. You know, rough paraphrasing um, Proverbs 1 and 7, all right. Moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. Now, you know, the scriptures say, oh, we're going to be joint heirs unto Yahweh Shai, you know, and that's something that's reserved, you know, uh, for the Israelites, beginning with the elect. You know, the elect are going to be the first fruits, okay? So, yeah, man, I just wanted to touch on that in this lesson, all right? Without faith, it is impossible to please the Heavenly Father, man. We have to believe that, you know, the Most High is going to save us, man. And, and that we won't die the death of the wicked, man. That's why we call ourselves uh, the hopeful elect, you know. Um, because, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's you know, we, we believe that in faith, you know. Um, obviously, we're humble, so we call ourselves the hopeful elect. Because anything can happen, man. All right? But, but the main key is to, is to uh, maintain that faith. All right? So anyways, man, I just wanted to touch on that this morning. I pray Lord willing this lesson has been edifying and until the next time I say shalom